I'm going to show you guys how to assemble the engine for a motorized bicycle. This is the 66cc two-stroke engine. If you live in California, most of the engines come just like this in a bunch of parts. So right now I'm just going to assemble the engine and uh, you know you guys can learn how to do that. This is your magneto. This is what gets the signal to send the spark to your engine. So we're going to install this first. As you can see, it sticks out more on this side than it does that side. So it's going to go down like that onto your engine. So put it in place. Actually first got to put the wires through the hole right here. take this little black boot and this is to prevent water from getting in here if you ever get water in here your engine will just stop getting spark and it will never start again so always make sure that this boot is in there pretty tight So there's two bags of screws. The ones that don't have any washers are the ones that you don't want to use. You want to use these longer ones that came with the washer. First you want to put the, the split washer on the nut, uh, on the bolt, and then you put the regular washer on. And then start tightening. When you're tightening, always make sure you do crisscross patterns. So you start here, then here, then here, then here. Now you're going to take your gasket, put it on, put the cover on. And this is where you use the shorter screws without washers. Okay, so once you're done with that, now it's time to install your piston onto the rod. Make sure you use this little bearing right here. Um, if you can see, this piston has a, a little arrow. That arrow is facing the exhaust port. So this side is the intake port, this is the exhaust side. So you want the arrow to point that way, towards the exhaust. So we're going to take out, there's a little uh, pin, retainer pin in there, just take that out. Just like that. Then push this little shaft out. Make sure it's facing that way. Just like this. Put this bearing inside, see the, where the rod is? You put it inside that hole. And now make sure it's lined up and put the shaft through. Just like that. Now take the retainer clip. Next what you have to do is you're going to slide the cylinder on this is the intake side this is the exhaust side so this is a very delicate part because sliding the cylinder over the piston rings um, you have to compress the piston rings so they so it slides over you see right here on the piston there's a little little uh, notch that holds the piston ring in place. You want to make sure the piston ring 
is compressed around that notch. So if you if you rotate the ring like this, then it's not going to sit flat and your engine just won't work. So make sure it's going around that little groove that holds it in place. And then the same thing on the top piston ring, you can't see from that angle, but um there's a notch here facing me. So first I'm going to do the the top ring. You're going to com compress the ring and then push the cylinder down over it. Okay, that was ring number one. Now, make sure the second ring is lined up with the notch. Compress the ring. That's it. Now your cylinder's on. Remember, if it doesn't go on smooth, then it's probably because the piston ring is not compressed um, over the notch. So never force it, or else the piston ring will break real easy. Next, you take your metal head gasket, anyway, it doesn't matter. Place it on top. Try not to bend the gasket. Now you take your head. Now this is the side that the spark plug is. You always want that closer to the exhaust side. So you're going to put it on like this. Don't put it on like this. It's less efficient. So you want to put it on like this. Okay, now with a 14 millimeter ratchet, you want to tighten these down in a crisscross pattern. Okay. Okay, last you put your spark plug on. This is your spark plug tool. Get your screwdriver. And you're done. That's your engine ready to be installed on your bike.